Good morning. It's a pleasure for me to welcome you to Hagerbach Test Gallery and to this very historic moment for Itatech. This is the first seminar. Today is a very special day for us because it's the first day where we come together, first time where we come together and present the first result that Itatech produced since its inauguration when we actively started something like two years ago. Immediately with that idea we could get a lot of attention in the industry and what you see here today is the result and it's a tremendous result as Tom mentioned. It's a lot of work to give you the latest technology and to give you the best information about the latest technology. We also realized that waterproofing is one of the key industry issues that bother tunneling. Spray membranes are relative new technology and there is no international standard or specification. So we formed this AG and in the AG we formed a team of cross-industry experts and of suppliers of membrane technology and experts also from consulting, from special applicators. So it's a very broad uh, AG that represents the whole process in in, 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 the, in the tunnel. We have representatives from more or less the whole world. We will have different practical demonstrations today. We will hear about the latest practice with spray membranes. It's also to get to see them in real condition, not only hear about them on a PowerPoint. So this is a visual thing and hopefully you'll see a lot more during the demonstration. Um, my duty uh, this morning really is to uh, bring you in from the knowledge you have at the moment about waterproofing in tunnels, particularly spray concrete tunnels, and to narrow you down to really what this activity group was about, which was spray membranes. All the guys that supply membranes producing their own method statements and specifications, design ideas, and we said this is too fragmented. Now we need to pull it all together. Let's harmonize this. And the Etatech platform was probably the best platform to do it. So hopefully today, anyway, you'll, you'll see that and you'll be able to draw your own conclusions and ask questions to the teams that are spraying and see what you think. This document is the basis for all what you see and learn about today. This really summarizes what today is about and what you will see and what you will hear today is all really enclosed in this document. It contains design guidance provides a model for specification and a route to accreditation of, of uh, and a training, quality control records and appropriate test methods, example of some detailed drawings and of course some reference project. I think this is a really good first start at really producing something of a real value for everybody uh, worldwide to choose a spray membrane system and have confidence it will work. We all know that Sheet membranes are a pretty good solution for waterproofing tunnels. Here you see some shots of reactive systems, uh, commonly using a, a sort of paint spraying uh, technology to apply it. Or you can spray with robots for the same process. Briefly, because there is, in our group, we, we also debated whether we should be hand spraying or robotically spraying these membranes. And again, there were two camps really. Uh, and it's quite interesting, the debate. And I think this is something you today will be able to see yourselves with the demonstrations and, and form perhaps your own opinions of which is a good or bad approach. How do we measure these values? So let's start with the bond strength. Bond strength is important for different uh, reasons. It's important for the strength of the structure, but it's also important because we don't want the tracking water between the inner lining and the membrane. And that's why we need bond strengths to achieve this. The, the, the surface has to be clean. We had this question in the morning when we apply the membrane. If you have a tunnel with a lot of water and it is already anticipated that it is like that, and pre-grounding could be done, is a good alternative for stopping the water, Maybe you can think of a spray-applied waterproofing solution. If what you see here now is really 
an effort from the industry companies to come together to bring their expertise and know-how along the entire process chain in tunneling to give us faster access to new technologies, to new methods and ultimately to safer and more economic construction. Thank you very much for joining us, thank you very much for your interest and I look forward that we are capable to deliver many, many more important results to you. Thank you.